Let me teach you what you will do to appreciate Allah. Here's how you appreciate Allah. Make rukuwa, make sajda. What is both of these things referring to? Salat. You need to appreciate me. The first step in appreciating me will be? Salat. Where is your salat? How much we appreciate our salat is a good indication of how much we appreciate Allah. How active, how vigilant we are in getting up out of bed. How lazy we feel in making it to the masjid. How bored we are when this, when the recitation is not entertaining enough. All of those are good indicators of where we stand before Allah Azza wa Jal. You know somebody who doesn't know about prayer, doesn't know about the Muslim prayer. A non-Muslim guy walks by and he sees people making salat. He's gonna notice these people are standing with their head down. They're humble before somebody. Then they put their heads down like this halfway. Wow, they got even more humble. And when they got up, what happened next? Face on the ground, they got really humble. In other words, he's noticing that there's a progression in their humility to Allah, to whoever they're worshiping. They're getting even more and more and more subservient. This seems like they were, they were they're appreciating their master, and they appreciated him more, and they appreciated him even more. The progression of Salat itself teaches us that we're supposed to evolve, grow in our humility to Allah. So this, this idea that we, as the more we serve, the more we're going to become humble. The most, the extreme of humility, was shudu. Then from there, because these two things still in the end, in essence, refer to Salat. They refer to Salat. What about in between the Salawat? And enslave yourselves and worship your master. In other words, now that you know, Ruku and Sajda is done, that's not the only Ibadah. You understand Ibadah is more than that. Ibadah is an attitude. I'm a slave. I'm here to serve. Ibadah is how I walk, how I talk. How I think about myself, how I think about others. Your entire attitude gets transformed because of prayer. Prayer is actually a very big part of a Muslim's personality, not just our behavior. Now prayer, we think of it as a behavior. Prayer actually, the daily salawat, they're supposed to try, have it a really direct effect on how we think, our attitudes, our thought process, our mentality. Between dhuhr and asr, my thoughts are going to be impacted by the dhuhr prayer. Between Asr and Maghrib, my thoughts, my priorities are going to be impacted by the Asr prayer. It's the way a Muslim carries himself as a Abd. That's shape. That's what the Salawat do. You know how pillars hold a building together? The Salawat hold our day together. They hold our day together. And between the between hours are dictated by what quality of Salat we have. Now if the Salat itself becomes empty, if the Salat becomes just cardiovascular exercise, this has become the review session for Surah Al-Ikhlas and Surah Al-Kawthar. Because you don't have time for anything more, you know? If it just becomes that, you're not going to see a change in your personality.